Hey there dude, Super Spaz here, and welcome back to another lovely episode of Pokemon Bolt Wide Nuzlocke. This episode is particularly lovely because in case you missed the update video I did, I caught a shiny while training Granny and Chuck. Now, this is a shiny Venipede. A shiny Pokemon in a Nuzlocke is perfectly fine to take because they are so rare that the chances you're going to get one, it's like a blessing pretty much from the Nuzlocke gods. So I had a little competition to name the Venipede. I know it wasn't a lot of time. I didn't give you guys very much notice. It was kind of uploaded at midnight last night, but I did get some pretty good suggestions. But the winning suggestion comes from user Actoratka, so if I'm saying that right, with Mr. Sparkles. I thought it was wildly hilarious that a Venipede is just ridiculous. I like ridiculous nicknames if you haven't kind of been able to tell that. Maybe that hasn't been so obvious. Uh, let's try to go lowercase then. Because it has to be Mr. Sorry for the sniffle there. You won't hear that. Mr. Right, let's see if I can do a space and fit Sparkle. I just don't think that's going to work. Mr. Sparkles. This is going to be the only Pokemon I have that doesn't have a uh, uppercase complete Spar. No, it's not going to fit. Um, what can I do? Mr. I, see, I can do Mr. Sparkles. I know that. It'll fit. I just have to be clever with it. Spark. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got this. Oh, man, this is more of a challenge than the actual game. Spar. K. That's how you spell it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mr. Sparkles. And okay. Mr. Sparkles was in heaven. No, 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 no. Mr. Sparkles, you are not supposed to go to heaven. Yeah, as you can see, I was right in the middle of the forest just training, and I found the shiny Venipede. I honestly, Mr. Sparkles, great addition to the team, depending on what his nature and stats are. I don't actually know that. Ooh, got stuck on a, got stuck on two walls. That's incredible. It's never happened twice in the same day. All right, so let's, someone's, and let's move some poke. Let's move him out of heaven. So he is timid. Um, all right, that's not good. That is bad. No, wait, where'd I send him just now? I sent him back to heaven, didn't I? I'm an idiot. I need to send him to box one and switch him out with probably Chuck. Okay, Timid uh, raises speed. Oh, what am I doing? I could just move him there. Ah, I'm an idiot. I am slow today. I, it's a Friday. Come on, cut me some slack here. All right, Chuck. I'm afraid you're going to have to sit out for a sec. But it's okay, because I got a Venipede. So let's look at the rest of his stats, what his ability is. Uh, it's either It can be either like Swarm or... Um, swarm. Swarm! So yeah, so he lowers attack and raises speed. Now, it's good that he has raised speed, but it is bad that he has lowered attack, because that's, well, I mean, he's an attack, attacking Pokemon. Uh, I think it'd be appropriate to train him a little bit, but I'll probably be switching him out, hopefully. A dark type won't be very good against him, because he's a bug. I honestly think bug types are majorly, like, underrated. I really love bug types. They're probably one of my more favorite types. Just because they have such good... They're good against grass, they're good against dark, and I believe psychic. So yeah, that makes sense. Protect, let's get rid of that. Because I, I don't really like using protect a lot. I mean, if it's good, if there's a Pokemon that doesn't... Let's see what else you can learn. Can you learn Venoshock? That wouldn't be very good, would it? That's special. Uh, let's use Flame Charge to see if you can learn Flame Charge. No, of course you can't. That'd be silly. What am I thinking? Smackdown. Can you learn Smackdown? No, you can't. Can you learn anything at all? Thief. You cannot learn Thief, you cannot learn Incinerate, I'm assuming. You can learn to Retaliate, but that's not a great move. Pluck, Rock Smash, Snarl, can you learn Rock Smash? No. Wait, you can. Whoa, there. No, maybe I'll just save it for when I uh, have to use it. I mean, it is an HM, so I could always teach it to him another time. Uh, oh, well, you know, it doesn't matter. I just need to get through this forest. I believe that's what we were doing last time, is fighting Team Plasma. Team Plasma? Is old Berg says it. Team Plasma. You can expect me to do a lot more voices in the future. What was with that color shift there, Dismuma? Dismume? I also fixed up my recording technique with Camtasia. That's what I'm using to record it right now. And I must say it was a wise decision. Because now I don't have to put a stupid um, blue screen layer on. Oh my gosh, you look so pretty, Master Sparkles. That's your twin name. Let's see if I can kill this cottony. Yeah, see, super effective. Uh, but Mega Drains, I didn't do too much. Yeah, I'm good. Well, I can train Mr. Sparkles a little bit. Cut to when I finish. I don't like the fact that you use grass type move on me, but... 
Uh, yeah, you could stand to gain a few levels. I'd rather you not die to a random pursuit or anything. I mean, if I if it can be helped, I'd like to keep him around just because he's a shiny. Oh man, it's so it's so pretty. Every time he comes out, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're so so cute, Mr. Spark. Mr. Sparkles, come on. I am not paying you to get paralyzed. Obviously not. Now, Poison Tail is a very powerful move. Well, a pretty powerful move. I'll use it. Yeah, did quite a bit to Cottony, but not enough. I really need you to uh, win. I'd rather. I really hate to use my paralyzed heals on him because I mean he's not a huge asset at the moment. Anyway, I only have four. Oh, I don't want to go all the way back though. Uh, so maybe I'll just. I'll keep him in the back. I'll keep him in the back ranks for now, but I will take him out in the future. Uh, I need to train Lady Thorn. Lady is a bit weaker than the rest of my Pokemon, and I think I need to fix that because she's actually a real powerhouse <laughs> compared to everybody else. Um, I gotta stop doing. Oh well, extra sentry is what I was gonna use anyway. Maybe Venoshock would have worked better, like this, because that's super effective on a Grass type, as it should be. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna use Venipede forever, but he's just a nice find to have right now. It's really, it's cool. It's cool to have found a shiny in a, in a Nuzlocke run. It does not happen to me often. My goodness gracious, ladies, calm down. Now, oh my gosh, I sound like the mayor of Townsville. I don't really sound like the mayor of Townsville. It's close. If you know, what, if you don't know what that's from, it's from Powderpuff Girls. I know, I know. Yes, Super Spaz, what are you doing watching Powerpuff Girls? I grew up in the 90s, so you have to cut me some slack here. Uh, I just realized. Oh no, 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 no! I need to get the dowsing machine out. I also need to get up there. But how? How and where? Is this a beach? Is there a beach in the middle of the forest? No, it's just a lake. <laughs> I'm just being stupid. I need to get out of this cursed forest, though. I also last part in between. Last part went up and looked for Berg. Like I said, I thought, oh, hey, maybe I can fight those trainers up there. I was right, and I fought them all to train up Granny and Chuck. But I, mean, I guess Chuck was kind of a moot point now. Or he, he's not very... Grass? Not. Oh, that's actually a very good move. It's a special attack. Maybe I'll teach that to um, Lady Thorn. Or if anyone else can learn it. Actually, let's see who can. Grass Knot. Ooh. It's, like, it's basically like low kick, but a special attack. And it's grass type. It's got 20 PP too, so it's not not low on. Ooh, Baja can learn Grass Knot. Uh, I believe his attack. Uh, let's see. Let's see what I can do. What I can get rid of, anyway. Well, Karate Chop's not great. Water Pulse and Razor Shell I want to keep. Revenge is an okay move. Karate Chop's a good move. Karate Chop's reliable. Revenge I have to actually wait to use. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of Forget Revenge and give him Grass Knot. Uh, Grass Knot for Baja isn't particularly useful, but it just gives him kind of like variety, I guess. Eh, uh, you know, why not give Audino Grass Knot too? No, 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 no. I don't want you, I don't actually want Lady Thorn to learn Grass Knot. Can we not do this right now? Ah, <sighs> should, no, a move should not, please, okay. I don't know if it's wise to go and teach my Pokemon Grass Knot when they can't be, when they can be learning so much better moves, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's get rid of Retaliate. It's it's not good. Wait, then that makes... Oh, it's phys that's physical. I like Secret Power, actually. It it proved very useful last part, or last time I was training. Audino's actually not a bad Pokemon. I'll be honest. I was surprised by uh, Granny's prowess in training. In the beginning, it was a little tough, but... Hey, a Venipede, but you're not shiny, so I don't get to keep you. Oh, well, let's just use Extra Sensory and be rid of you. I think the issue with the bug poison type is that it's not immune to psychic. Bug should be immune to psychic, but it isn't. Instead, it's just, it's super effective against it, so that means if you're a bug type, you're still gonna get hit with just as much power. Now, yeah, maybe that's the downside to the bug type, because they just don't have too many resistances to boost their, um, their advantages. Ah, is this the last Team Plasma guy? I believe so. A pursuer? <laughs> a kid like you beat some of us? It can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. I love that music. I honestly just ah, uh, it's so good. I don't know. They they the music in the original um, it'll come to me. The original game was very good. I mean, Pokemon has some memorable soundtracks to it. Just the battle music. Ooh, extra sensory. Please wait a minute. Oh, I probably should have thought about that. Uh oh. Oh, you just used Confuse Ray. Good. I was frightened that you would use, like, Wing Attack and kill me in one hit. 
Um, but instead, I'm actually going to use... Er... Well, definitely not Mr. Sparkles. That's definitely a bad idea. Uh, let's use Talon. Talon is a good choice right now because... Well, I don't have anything that can take down... Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. You know, fine. I'll just wait it out. You're gonna... Okay. All right. I don't... I see how this is going to go, and I don't- I don't like it! Okay, good. You're down, I don't have to deal with Confuse Ray, Sleep, uh, anymore. Scraggy, uh, it's a Fighting Dark-type, so I think Fighting-type should still do a hefty amount of damage to it. So let's see, let's test my theory. Karate Chop. Why does Grass not only have half PP? I just noticed that, like, I was thinking... Wait, Grass Knot's not at full potential here. And that's, I think that's because if you give a TM to a Pokemon with a move with less PP, it'll, um, unfill it, I guess, is the word. Not unfill, but, like, it will make it the same PP as it was, so you can't, like, generate PP out of nowhere in, like, the middle of battle, like, for the Elite Four or something. Oh, uh, yeah, let's switch for Beedrill. Let's switch into Flambo Or Lady Thorn. Oh, uh, Lady Thorn, psych. Yeah, Lady Thorn, I'll do it. I'm not that scared. I mean, I'm scared, but Bedrill, Bedrill's not too strong, and if I'm faster, yep, it's, I'm, it's, uh, no, 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 oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, if it knows Pursuit, that'd be terrible, no, it can't, there's no way, oh my goodness gracious, I would've survived anyway, but I just had the biggest heart attack of my life. You don't even know. Holy crap. That just happened. Oh, no. I just... Oh, oh my gosh. Lady, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm just... No, I'm not gonna bother with Toxic Spikes. That's only good if I'm doing, like, competitive battling with other people, I think. I mean, it has its uses, but not too great at the moment. Fine, take your stupid skull. All right, we got the skull, but damn... Oh, lady almost died. Holy crap. I, my heart is still palpitating here. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. <laughs> I'm so sad. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, I'm mortified that this skull, which we went through so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon Skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so that you never interfere with us again. What ho, what is this rubbish? Oh, sweet! The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up. Worked up. So here I come, and what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Ah, are you here to help your friends who am I defeated? Spares? Berg? The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this the guy? Is this the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getesis, another of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the Seven Sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokémon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokémon user Berg and the normal Pokémon user Lenora, I say, know your meme and your enemies. Know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quietly to secure the liberation of Pokémon. Whoa, what is going on here? To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from our trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope that you are looking forward to that as much as I. <laughs> oh gosh, I just got really crazy with his voice there. They're a speedy bunch. Whoa, where did this come from? Damn. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you gonna chase them? Hmm. We got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well, now, well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Costelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed, I'm certainly looking forward to it. 
Tally-ho! Well, that's that. Nope, maybe not. Spaz! You're holding the dragon skull you worked so hard to get back, right? Hey, I gave it to him. Blah, hiccups. <laughs> Spaz, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here is a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Moonstones. Okay, I can evolve moon things. Things that evolve with the moon. These are moonstones. Some Pokemon evolve and you use this item on them. Now, I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See ya. Take care of yourself. And that is that. We are done with this cursed forest. Eh, we almost lost Lady just then. I'm still f f miffed about that. And I believe we can get out of here without too much of a hitch. Ooh, an item. King's Rocks. Ooh, there's more than one? I guess if it is an evolution item, this game kind of gives it to me to use. Alright, so that's that. I need to go heal up real quick, but other than that, we can just kind of move on. Maybe put Venipede out in front again, get him trained up. Alright, tough trainer, I will make your Pokemon healthy. Thank you very much, madame. Sir or madame, the Reddit army is here. Uh, let's not do that. I actually have to switch Venipede. Mr. Sparkles, switch you. Gosh, I'm so sorry, lady. I, I'm just apologizing profusely for my behavior. I was ve that was very unmanly of me. Not ungentlemanlike. Oh, I can't go that way. All right, let's go through the forest. And here we are, somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but we'll figure it out. It's neither here nor there. A bear, a bear. Oh, a quick claw. Oh, that's a very nice... I don't even think I have any hold items yet. Okay, yeah, thanks for that. Quick Claw just makes you go faster, a little bit. Like, you can, um, you have the chance, I'm actually going to give it to somebody right now. Quick Claw gives you the chance to move a little bit faster than your enemy, at, like, on occasion. So I'll give it to Mr. Sparkles, Mr. Sparkles, even though he's already fast. Um, ooh, yes, I will give the King's Rock to Baja because it has a flinch effect, and I will also give one to Talon. Alright, because physical damage basically gives it a flinch effect, and that's kind of their thing. Oh, Sky Narrow Bridge. Alright, let's go. Sky Narrow. Narrow in the skies, eh? Very good, very good. Sky Sky Arrow. Ah. Now watch this. What? Wait, what are you doing? The way the bridge curves right here, I've never seen anything like it. Hey ho. I'll bet you haven't. Alright, so this is just a path of walking. Man, is there even, like... This is so cinematic, I should probably, like... Maybe, like... Make the music go at normal speed? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Do you battle me? Searching for the exact center point of Sky Arrow Bridge. Well, good luck with that, is all I gotta say. This looks odd. Like, I, t I mean, the screen's much larger than a DS screen, so I'm sure it doesn't look this bad. And, I mean, it's, it's an emulator, too. But, I don't know, this just kinda looks awkward. Wow, that's Staley City Skyline. You bet it is. That's where we're headed next, guys. Finally, civilization. We've been kind of dicking around in the wilderness for the first eight, nine parts. <laughs> oh, gosh. And now, finally, we get ourselves some actual class. And in a real city, we will reside. Not reside, but we will battle Jim. And we'll just kind of stroll around, have a look. So let's see the wonders of Castalia City. And let's go down here. Let's see what this has to offer. Oh, it's a muggy-looking dock. So this is inspired by New York, as it might be obvious. Um, ooh, ooh, what do I, what type do I like best? Well, I do like, wait, oh, he's giving me a stone, doesn't, isn't he? So it's, yeah. Firestone, yes, I need that for Flambeau. So, obviously, I made the right choices then. Awesome. So I wonder... If I... I gotta look into what Flambeau can learn, but for now... Oh, he's actually gonna be very useful for this next gym. It's Bug, isn't it? I think Talon and Flambeau are gonna kind of take the cake on this one. Uh, Lady Thorn, I'm gonna keep out of the fray, because, ah, that twin needle really scared the crap out of me. Just that critical hit. If he had gotten two, I would have been dead. Alright, I don't even really care what you have to say. I love Castelia City. It's really awesome what they did. It's so new to a Pokemon game. Well, I guess not anymore, but it was at the time. I was blown away. I was like, wow, this is not Pokemon. I mean, it is, but it's just different. Uh, he's battling male clerk, but his Pokemon are weak. Let's... Who are you? Want to recover Pokemon? Oh, sorry. Hi, hi. 
Janak Janat. Oh, there's the there's the lumpy space princess voice I had at the very beginning. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes. I uh, I don't know Geonet. Jeanette, that's not a name. All right, that's kind of an embarrassing mistake. Anyway, let's just move on. I also noticed that when I put Pooh down to rest, he actually had an item on it. Uh, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, it's the last item he'll ever give me. Kind of like a keepsake. Unfortunately, it's just an orange berry. So, <laughs> oh no, I'll get put it in my bag. Sorry, Pooh, your last keepsake is mine. I'm afraid. I know it wasn't a nugget or anything. Wait, oh, is it? No, it's not my favorite Pokemon, but... Oh, okay. What do you have to do? Pokemon trends help you connect with the world. The world will be bigger. Trade Pokemon. Because I can, because I'm in an emulator. Stupid. No. What? I bet you will give me a present. You know what? I can't make use of it. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I hope they fix that in the hack. That better be, <laughs> better be a, a feature. I don't know. Should I evolve Flambo right now? I don't know what moves he learns in the future. I could go look that up real quick, but I doubt it would be, like, any different. I don't think he learns Flamethrower on his own. That's the one thing I'd want. It's probably, in my opinion, Flamethrower is probably the best fire attack you can give a Pokemon. Uh, none of these guys are actually giving me any items, so maybe I should just go investigate something important. So, I also picked up an item. Now, this is totally legit because the floor, the, um, Volt White hack came with this in its packaging, so to say. It has the Liberty Ticket Pass, like, cheat. Not cheat, but Liberty Pass that you had to hack into your save, which I did. But I think that this is the boat, and I don't want to use it right now. Because if I go there, I have the chance to catch Victini. Now, there's no rules in a Nuzlocke saying you can't specifically use Legendaries, and I think with Victini, I'd let it slide. Victini's a good Pokemon, but it's not, like, over the top. Well, I mean, it's 100 stats and everything. You know what, I'll leave it up to a vote. What do you guys think? Do you think it would be okay if I used Victini if I caught it, or not okay? I would only catch it once, no nature pouring or anything like that. It would just be what it is. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Ah, ah, where did I put those sunglasses? Ah, I found them. You've really got to have more light to see by your way by. Take this, I'll be seeing dark places. Flash. Oh, it's funny that the guy gives you Flash in the, um, in the dark alley. Because, you know, Flashers and such. It's, it's a funny joke. He's funny, believe me. So, what do you gotta say? There's not a lot you can do alone. There are more things you can do with people. There are things you can do with people. Dude, I don't know what you're saying, but I like it. Hey. Smirk. Okay. Enough of that. Let's go talk to this guy, actually. I think he initiates the quest, so to say. Hey, trainer, show me your paces. Give me your work. All right, let's fight like it's a dance. Oh, shit. This is a battle? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not what I signed up for. Not in any way. Dancer Mickey, Mickey Mouse. See me, Sage? Here we go. See me, Sage. Mr. Sparkles versus a level 25 Simi Sage. I'm going to say that's not looking good, and instead I'm going to send out ta Flambo Talon Flam Flambo. Yeah, Flambo. He's much higher than it anyway. But Simi Sage is a pretty cool. I like Simi Sage. He's a cool Pokemon. He looks nice, at least. Uh, Lava Plume. Whoa, Sea Bomb. Jesus. You're doing a lot of damage to me there, Simi Sage. Oh, I burned him. Nice. Burn victim. Uh, I'm actually going to heal him with a, you know, super potion or whatever. No, not a, just a potion. Probably a super potion would do the trick better. Alright, I needed that. That was kind of a. Alright, you can use Sea Bomb on your like. You're just going to die. Amade Burbrak. I love these little strokes I have when I talk too fast. I just like, 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 like. I say like a lot. I'm, I'm from California. Come on, come me some slack here, guys. Not that you're yelling at me or anything. All right, let's get down. Yeah, I'll do some spinning tricks. Sorry about that. Now those were some smooth moves, no doubt. But we'd be even tighter if I had a group. Hey, you, would you talk to the other dancers? Now I'm John Travolta. If you invite both of them, all three of us can groove as a team. Yeah, same outfit as me. That's the dancer. All right, let's go. Let's go do some John Travolta dancing. I gotta go find this talk to him. Hey, you need something? Hey, what are you looking for dancers? It sounds very interesting, but I don't want to do a favor if someone isn't strong to me. Hey, let's have a battle. Sure thing, buddy. And now I'm assuming all these guys have the different evolutions of the monkeys. Is this guy... Is this what... Oh, boy. semi poor. Okay, so this is the female-looking one. I mean, it's okay because... I mean, if you're a male one, then maybe not. All the monkeys are feminine except for semi sage which is why i like simi sage the most i guess not that i'm sexist or anything i'm just saying 
I'm just saying, Lady Thorn. Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. Sometimes it's not. Other times, sometimes Giga Drain. Come on now. Oh, if that had hit more. What's with the critical hits on Lady? I don't get it. They have a real knack for those, I guess. Mr. Sparkles, level 21. Getting, getting him up there. He's, he's getting through. He's making his way up the ranks. All right. He's going to join the dance team. Awesome possum. Unfortunately, this episode isn't going to have too much meat to it, except for defeating Team Plasma. But I guess it doesn't really have to. I mean, we are in a pretty cool place, if I do say so myself. All right. Let's, let's heal up everybody. So the last one is going to be Pansage. I'm not very scared of him since Baja is my fire slayer. Maybe not Slayer, but Fire Stopper? Opposite of a Fire Starter. I cannot go any further that way. Well, let's check down this alley. Ah, just coughed there, but you didn't hear that because I edited it out in post. Because I care about what you guys hear. Game Freak. Oh, Game Freak. They, oh, they break the fourth wall all the time. Silly Game Freak. Now what's in here? Oh, yeah, pretty much all of this place I'm going to have to... Oh, please massage Mr. Sparkles. I want him to like me. Yeah, that was a funny massaging noise. Yeah, it has. All right, you. When a Pokemon are happy, I'm happy. I laugh. Ha ha, hey, hee ho. I really need to do something. Like, not kind of dick around in the city. Oh, hey, I can go somewhere. Which floor would I like to go to? Oh, well, the only other one, I guess. Let's see what this floor has to offer. I doubt it's anything good. Oh, there's nothing on the dowsing machines. Check some play... Check items you're curious about. Oh, that's not what she said. Whatever. Well, this... This is... Oh, wait, rest? Oh, hey, a TM... Well, rest is an okay move. I mean, if I get a Snorlax, I'll definitely teach it to it. I don't know. Are there good rest? Um... No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to anybody more than I have to. I just want to get items. See, this is why I talk to people, because they give you so many good things. That is the one recommendation I have to you if you're playing a Pokemon run of any sort, is just talk to everyone. They give you free shit. I don't know why, but, you know, they obviously see something in it. In you. They see something inside of you. And I can tell you what that is. It's Pokemon Master. So, I'm gonna go find the last dude. Pokemon Trainer's on Route 4. That's not where he is. The Dancer. Where is the Dancer? I know he is somewhere. Is he out in the middle of the street? Our house. In the middle of the street are my blouse is so pretty and so neat. Okay, so he's not in the middle of the street. I guess he's in a building. Well, I couldn't tell you what that building is, but next time we are going to find him. And next time, well, probably in between the parts, I'm going to go looking around. Oh, he could be here. Is he? No, he's not. Just my luck. Well, crap. An art studio. Art studio. Uh, wait. What? Ice type. I don't have an ice type, bro. Bro, I do not have an ice icicle type. All right, I'm getting out of here. This is silly. What am I doing? Oh, I should end the part. I'm just running around this large city without a clue in the world. Now, there's no way he'd be down the same alley twice. <laughs> That's not where I'd keep my dancer. Are we human or are we cancer? Can't change the name of a Pokemon because the person named it wishes that it was that name because they're a douche. Uh, why did I say that? That wasn't very nice. I'm sure whoever named... Oh, the name Raider. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to change Baja's name to Sergeant Baja because I kind of gypped him. Anybody else? Oh, actually, any nicknames for the Pokemon that I nicknamed myself? If you have any other suggestions, if you like the nicknames I have given my Pokemon, great. If you don't, tell me what I can do better. All right, anyway, I think I'm actually going to end the part here. I'll nickname Sergeant Baja, and I'll do it now. Actually, yeah, well, I'll leave it to a vote. Um, no. I'm not going to change his name yet. I know, Sergeant Baja, I'm very sorry. You're probably going to yell at me, but I'm going to leave it to a vote to you guys. Should I change Baja's nickname, or should I change it to Sergeant Baja? What do you guys think? I mean, I guess that's really going to be up to Sergeant Baja. He's going to tell me, yeah, I should do it. Anyway, guys, I'm Super Spaz, and I'll see you guys later. Why did I say I'm super spaz? You already know that. I'm bad at outros. Later, dudes.